Is it even possible to mention Mother's Day without also talking about flowers or gardening? Well, the other day I spoke to Home Depot's Director of Trend and Design, Sarah Fishburne, and Division Merchandise Manager of Live Goods, Dan Stupinello, for a few Mother's Day gift giving ideas. Check it out. Sarah, Dan, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. No problem, Sarah. Let's start with you. How do we decide what the perfect gift is for the mom figure in our lives? Yeah, I think when you're giving a gift anytime, you really want to customize it and make it something special for whoever you're gifting. And a lot of times I get asked, like, how do I even know what they might be interested in? So I tell people, think of their hobbies, think of their activities. What do they like to do? Do they like to go outside? Do they like to garden? Do they like to cook? Take elements from there and put that into that special customized gift and they will be thrilled by it. That is such a good suggestion because my mom will never tell us straight out exactly what she wants, no matter how, how hard we ask. <laughs> yes, that's a very typical problem. <laughs> Absolutely. And Dan, you know, instead of just a bouquet of flowers, are there any other trending plants that we can kind of show up and impress mom with? Yeah, there are. And I've got a couple of great options for you. So our Rio series of Diplodenia is just a great plant. So it comes in a lot of colors and sizes, but it's an easy care plant. It's got a lot of flower power and it's multi-purpose. You can put it right in the garden. You can use it in container gardens or you can use it in hanging baskets. It works extremely well in warm temperatures, cooler climates, and it's really great for the beginner gardener as well as the advanced gardener. The other thing that we're excited about is our My Rose Garden Collection. And essentially what we've done is we've made the shopping and growing experience easier by grouping all our roses by functionality in the garden. So the My Bouquet series works extremely well for cutting roses, which you can make your own uh, floral arrangements with. And the My Landscape Rose just really works as an accent plant when you're doing those planting projects. Those look so beautiful. Now, I really want to talk about mom's cooking or mom's on the go. Do you have any favorites for them? Because my mom loves to be in the kitchen. She's a really good cook. <laughs> so I'm hoping yeah. you have any ideas in that sector. We do. I have, a, I have a couple ideas. And herbs is a great place to go. And I would tell you, one of my favorite herbs is the Emerald Towers Basil. And what's so unique about this plant, it has a compact growing habit, which means it's great for windowsill gardening, as well as just small containers. And what's great about this plant is it flowers later, which means that it's going to produce a lot more basil leaves. So mom can enjoy basil in her, in her favorite recipes all summer long. And for those interior spaces and easy care is our new proven winner, Leaf Joy line of indoor tropical plants. So whether you want to decorate the office or the home, a great solution, easy care, and bring that tropical feel into the home. Nice. And Sarah, do you have any ideas to kind of bring our mom's sense of style outside? Because my mom loves to think that she's really trendy and stylish. <laughs> How can she we put that on the outside? <laughs> Absolutely. And I absolutely love container gardens. And this is where you can have a lot of fun and be very stylish. And I'm going to teach you a trick. This is called the thriller, filler, spiller method. This is not only you can use it for, you know, flowering plants, but you can use it for herb gardens as well. What you're going to do is take kind of a tall architectural plant and drop that in the center. Then you're going to put a plant around. I like to do mixed colors. I like to really have my creativity come through and, you know, do new palettes, and that's your filler. Then you're gonna to top it off with something that cascades out of the container, that's your spiller. So take that method, and as I mentioned earlier, it's all about customizing a gift for your mother or mother figure. So go into our store, pick out your container, it can be a planner, it can be a window box, even a raised bed garden, uh, and add in your soil, add in the different flowers, that thriller, filler, spiller, put in some gloves, put in a shovel, take that to your mom, plant it with her. Not only are you teaching her a new method, but she's something you, she can enjoy the whole season. I love this. I have heard of this, the thriller spiller filler uh, method. And I think it's oh. so genius. This is so awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, Sarah, can you tell us where we can go for more information? Absolutely. You can visit any of your local Home Depot stores, talk to our garden associates, or go on homedepot.com for more information and tips. This has been perfect. Thank you so much to both of you for helping us out. I'm definitely going to use these tips because like I said, my mom will never tell us what she wants. But you guys helped me out today. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.